Welcome to unboxings, and today I have post-apocalypse Denny's, and this is Huck G's post-apocalypse Denny's. I think he may be the artist on this. I don't know Huck G. I'll look it up. And these are kid robots, and here you see all that you can get in this case. There's one Chase figure in this case, and then there's also one that we don't know its rarity. That's right next to the Chase. See, the Chase is right here, and then this one, we don't know who, what his rarity is. And then there's some that are like 1 in 32, 2 in 16. I don't know why they do that. 2 in 16, just reduce the fraction. It's uh, 1 in 8. <laughs> 1 in every 8 figures. But um, yeah, there's there's some 1 in 16s. I think the 1 in 32 is the rarest one we have. And then there's some 3 in 32s, which I think, I don't, know, I don't remember how it reduced those, but I think it's 1 in 14. But anyway, let's see what this box has in store for us. Okay, so I don't think this box has been touched by anyone. So I'm just going to pull these out. And I'm going to show you the layout of the box in case you want to get any one of these. And we're gonna, this is the uh, front row, and it's four rows of four. And I'm gonna start in the front left. So let's see what we have. These boxes are tough to open, but they have that, they have a nice vinyl smell. I love that vinyl smell. And I like the, the foil packaging that Kid Robot uses for their gunnies. It's cute. Oh, yes. Mm, I'm smelling the vinyl. You can't really see that. <laughs> but look at this guy, okay? I don't know if you get, if it's focusing. Yeah, that's a pretty cute design. Look at the back of him. Yeah. And he's got a little weapon. Oh, he's got two weapons. Oh, they come with two weapons in this set. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Mm. I need, like, some scissors to, like, kind of. Well, I can just use the weapons themselves to kind of get them out of their their uh, their cases. Oh, I think maybe he goes like, yeah, that's the, that's the way for that one. And then the knife. Ooh, that's kind of. That's gonna be a little bit difficult to get in there. Oh no, oh, okay. Oh, look, <laughs> I didn't see this like hand sitting over there, but it's a two piece, uh, it comes with a little card. <laughs> this is cute, okay, let me see. You can see that, and like his weapon is two pieces, it's in two pieces. So this is, it says Hux Deli, it was, it was, uh, for hire, call, it, well, the back of it says Huck's Deli, and then the front of it says for hire, call Huck. So it was Steve, but it's crossed out, and now it's Huck. So Huck took over Steve's Deli in the post-apocalypse. So I guess this, okay, so this goes into here. It gets on that stick, and then this gets in the Dunny's hand. And he's got some... His shoes look kind of funny too. They look very like um, like the Chinese shoes or Japanese shoes. I forget what they call them in Japan. Those shoes with the like little the um, stilts or the wedges on them. If you know what they're called, or if I'll probably look it up after after this video after I figure out um, to figure out what they are. So let's go to the next one, which is the. Second one, and we're on our moving from left to right. Second one in the front row. Ooh. Yeah, these are hard. I think I need to get some my scissors to open these. Those boxes are just won't open. I like the the okay, so each one comes with a card. This is pretty cool. Each one comes with like their own little trading card in this box. This is cute. 
And this one, let's see. Ooh, we. Oh, wow. She is pretty badass. Look at her. Wow. She is pretty fierce. And she's got those same little shoes on, those same little wooden moccasins that I know, like the Japanese shoes. That's pretty badass. Like, she's like an android almost with her little, like, her little bow on the back there. Let me get, get these in camera so you guys can see them light up. Put this on the other side. And let's do this. Okay. Wow, these are pretty cute. And let me see which ones which ones are those. So she's one in sixteen, and he is two in sixteen. So those are not very rare. Ugh, okay, I'm I'm done struggling. <laughs> I'm done struggling with the tape on the box, which I think is taped and glued. Like very secure, kid robot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's taped and glued, so yeah. Don't need that, well, maybe you do. Maybe you guys are securing it that well to hold in those new vinyl smells, I guess. Mm, yes, this one smells really, really good. Oh, yes. Wow, okay, so he is got, oh, he's got a mask. So, you know, I don't remember if the other one had a, a, a weapon on her or not. Let me make sure there's nothing in the plastic that I missed. Nope, there's nothing in the plastic. So she didn't have a weapon. He has a mask with him. So let me just open him up. Open up his mask so you can see. Uh, how it goes on and off. That's so cool. I love it. Okay, so here he is without his mask. He's unmasked like this. You can see him. And see the back of him. And then with his, you put his, here's his mask. Oops, oops. His mask is harder plastic. And just put that on. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it is. It's, it feels kind of like that it's loose a little bit, but it is pretty secure. So that's cute. Put him, put him with his mask on. And he is one in 16, so still no rare ones yet. And this is the last one in the row. This is the one on the right. And we're in our front row. Mm. This one didn't have a smell to it. I like when I rip them open and they have like a really cool smell. Oh, and this is the other mask one. Well, it has somewhat of a smell. I think the masks kind of don't have a smell. And that's probably why. So this is the one that's in the green. So it's like the same one. This is number 13, and what does he have? Oh, he has number 13 on his too. So they both have number 13. It's just one is in green, and one is in like uh, burnt sienna. <laughs> Yeah, it's more like, I don't want to say it's orange and I don't want to say it's brown, so I'll say it's burnt sienna. Oh, but this one is the female. So we have the, our, our male. Or it could be a male with some lipstick. Who, who knows? It's a post-apocalypse post dunnies. So maybe in the post-apocalypse, you know, we've kind of discarded our gender identities. That's something to consider. <laughs> and there we go with the mask on. So who knows? <laughs> okay, now moving to the second row, and we're on the left. <laughs> okay, so this guy has like a, a, it looks like a cheese wedge on the top of his head, but it's actually a mohawk. 
<laughs> and look at the back of him. And he has a weapon because I saw there was something in here. Yeah, he has like a couple different things. And I didn't see the cards. Oh yeah, the cards are still in here. I had to make sure I get the cards out of these too. Because those cards are cool. Make sure I've, I've gotten all my cards out of that plastic before I throw it away. So he also has a two-part kind of weapon. Looks like a... Looks like something that goes on his back or a shield, maybe. This is the one where we don't know his rarity. He's the one where his, his uh, rarity is kind of, it's like question mark. So we don't know, maybe he's in the box, maybe he isn't, maybe he's in that position, maybe he isn't, I guess. Who knows? So I think you probably put this on his back or something, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Oh no, no, I think this is his mask. Yeah, this is his mask. So he has this, he can have a mask. He has, he has a little, you can see that there, little mask that you could put on him. Oh wait, camera's like wondering, what are you doing? There we go. <laughs> so there's the mask that you could put on him. And then, uh, but, ooh, how you get it over that big old cheese wedge head? Oh yeah, you can, there you go. Okay, so he got his mask on. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> it kind of went down further than I wanted it to go. Let's see, okay, there we go. We got his mask on, and then we could put his little weapon in his hand. So there, there he goes. Wow. <laughs> so then we have, this is still second row, moving from left to right. So this is the second one in the second row. Have his card. And I don't think he, ha oh yeah, he does have a weapon. So actually, he has an attachment. So this is his front, and then we have his back. It's trying to focus hard. There we go. There's his back, and then he has this like propeller type of attachment on him. Mmm, I love that vinyl smell. Ooh, and it's a, it's a moving propeller. Let's see. Just stick that down in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult, but ah, that's pretty cute. <laughs> propeller, propeller, propeller. Let's see, okay, is he in focus? Okay, cool. So that is that one. I don't know if we're gonna have like enough room for all of them to be in the shot, but I'll try. Let me just like pull some of these back a little bit and then maybe we could make some more room here. Okay, so this is the third one in the second row. And ooh wee. Look at this one. That looks pretty badass. Little mohawk braid down the center. And some fur boots. Boots with the fur. <laughs> uh, so I think this one has like some kind of claw thick claw things claw thingies so the propeller guy was what was he he was a 3 and 32 and this claw girl she's also a 3 and 32 
So we, I think, which one? Oh wait, that propeller guy is, yeah, he is the three. Cause there's another propeller guy or a propeller girl, I don't know. Who, um, he, she, he, she, or him, I don't know. There, <laughs> that one is a one in 32. So this one is a, a three in 32. So we still haven't gotten, the only one we've gotten that may be close to rare yet is the uh, one that we don't know it's rarity. Cause even she is a three in 32. So we haven't gotten to our rare ones yet. So this is the last one in the second row. So this will be the one on the right. Okay, that one kind of... This is another robot, another android, I guess you could say. He is a one in 16 as well. Ooh, it had like, it's kind of, it came out and it had like oil on it. Ew. I don't know if that was like an intentional kid robot, that this one had oil on him, but <laughs> it looks like very, yeah, it's just, ugh, you see that oil? I don't know if you can see that oil or not. It's kind of nasty that it had oil on it. <laughs> Good thing I had some paper towels close by because I'm gonna like wipe them off a little bit. It's like, why did he have oil? <laughs> or I don't know, am I supposed to wipe the oil off? I don't know. Ooh, wee, it's like bluish black, bluish greenish oil. Ugh. I don't know if that was from the paint or not. I don't know. Ho hopefully this isn't some post-apocalyptic ooze that was like thrown in the box for good measure. And I'm gonna turn into like some post-apocalyptic monster because I touched it. <laughs> but anyway, let me put his mask on. So he's still, he's a one in 36 and he is our, um, well, I'm not going to put them all, I'm going to put them in the order that they came out, but yeah, he belongs in this group. So now we're moving to the third row and this is the first one. This in the third row, it is on the left. Okay. So this one, here, let me get his weapon out and see. He's a one in 16. And this, he ha yeah, he has a weapon, he's a gun. So this is this one, you see the front of him. And then you can also see the back. And let's, let's see, get his gun out. And, boom, huh, okay, I guess, he, yeah, it does just stick kind of in there like that, yeah, yep. These are easier to stick in than the other ones, the, the Mishka ones that I have. I can, I find these e easier to get their weapons in them. So this is the second one in the third row. Ooh, that one smelled really nice. Oh, okay, so this is another one of this one. A different color of this one. Let's see. And that's the back of her. And let's see. No weapon. And let's, this is the third one. In the third row. Oh, rip that box. Okay, so this is a sec another one of the same one of this one. So this is our sec our du our double. We got a double here. So first time we got a double. And this one, this one here, this 
this version or variant of her um, this one doesn't look like what is this it looks like this may be this is a 3 and 32 and this is a 3 and 32 and then this one this rhinoceros guy did I say he's a 1 and 16 okay so we got one double this is the last one in the third row So it's on the right. Okay, this is the other rhinoceros kind of looking guy. He's a two and 16. Get his little weapon out. 